Today we'll talk about the shared device license and how to deactivate that. Uh, I have already installed the package, created a package and installed it on this device and the package is successfully installed. Let's try to open Creative Cloud and sign in. So I signed in with uh, a test user email address and the password. It is a free account. It does not have any subscription or any kind of products associated with this particular email address. So it's trying to initialize and hopefully uh, we should be able to see that. So while it's loading, I will try to refresh uh, the page. And here you can see the activation over here is 17 right now. And uh, the other is three. All right, so you can see all the applications. It says open option. Uh, so it means the shared device license is already activated uh, on this particular device. And now you can see the activation count has been increased from 17 to 18. So it means this particular device is already activated. Now we have to get rid of this device or uh, we do not want to use this device anymore. So how to get this, uh, get deactivate? You can, uh, you can know that uh, what kind of license is installed on this device. So for that, we need to use the licensing toolkit. So this is the link. You can Google Shared Device Licensing Toolkit Adobe, and this is the link uh, what you will get. So we are working on Windows. So we downloaded it for Windows. And actually, I have already downloaded the Shared Device Licensing Toolkit. So this is uh, the file which is downloaded, and these are the files uh, which we get after we extracted the licensing toolkit. Now, over here, if you can see how to use the licensing toolkit, uh, you, we have to use it in the command prompt and go to that location and then run the licensing toolkit. If we do that, the command will deactivate this particular device. So first of all, uh, let's see what kind of licenses are installed on this particular device. And if you see over here, uh, view license information, we have to use this command or the command in short. So now let's open command prompt as an administrator. Uh, you need to navigate to the location where we have the licensing toolkit. So if we go over here and navigate to this location, now we need to, uh, the, this licensing toolkit dash L, we need to use this command. So if we type A and press tab, it's going to uh, get the licensing toolkit dot dash dot exe. And if we press dash L, so this is the licensing information for all the products that are installed on this particular device. So you can see named user education lab. It means it's a shared device license. Uh, if it is a named user license, then it will just say the named user. So the education lab means it's a shared device license. Now the next step is to deactivate this license. So how you deactivate it, all you need to do is you just have to run uh, the command Adobe licensing toolkit and dash dash deactivate. So if I again type A and uh, then press tab and type dash dash deactivate. So it's running the licensing toolkit and uh, it will give us a message, uh, operation completed or something like that. Meanwhile, I'll try to sign out and sign in again uh, on the creative cloud. So, uh, so just to show you the status again. So now uh, you see the operation successfully completed. And if we go back to the admin console and if I try to refresh this page, the count was 18 here. So you can see the count goes back to 17 again and the device is already deactivated. And now if we go back over here and try to get the licensing information using dash L. Now it does not say anything because the device is deactivated now. And the count has already been changed. Now on the Creative Cloud as well, it's uh, showing open in front of the apps before. So, uh, I hope like uh, you are able to understand how to use the licensing toolkit to deactivate the shared device. The same user, uh, the same information can be used for the feature restricted licenses as well. So if you have a FRL license, you can just use the shared device licensing toolkit and 
if you you can be deactivated with the license and uh, this is how you can check what kind of information is there so you can see frl online for captivate so right now i have deactivated so it has deactivated everything now over here you can see it says start the trial now i hope uh, you get the information